Today's item up for review is the Bell & Howe Sonic Breathe Ultrasonic Personal Humidifier. Hey there country music fans, I want to welcome you here to the pre-show at the CMAs. Uh, Tony, this is an As Seen on TV review. Oh. Oh, oh, this ain't, this ain't that? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I got you, got you. Hey everybody, Tony here with you again today. I have another exciting As Seen on TV item to review. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Bell Howe Sonic Breathe. This is the ultrasonic personal humidifier. And like I said, this comes to us from Bell and Howe. And what this promises to be is a personal humidifier that you can set like next to your bed. You can take it to work and set it next to your cubicle. You can set it in the living room right next to you. Whatever you wanna do with this thing, you can take it with you, put it there. And when I saw this thing, immediately I was like, ding, 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 gotta get this. Found this at Bed Bath & Beyond for $29.99, so not bad for around 30 bucks. And like I said, this is a personal humidifier. What really got me was, is it shows a little water bottle right here. It shows that you can screw this right down into this humidifier, and it says it lasts up to 12 hours. Wow. And I don't know about you guys, but during the winter time, especially, I get really dry. And this right here, you know, will definitely, you know, put some moisture in there. At least we hope it will. And that's what I'm doing today is I'm testing this thing out. And you can see here, it's still in the plastic. I haven't looked at it yet, uh, but I am itching to get at it and try it out. So anyway, I'm going to read some of the description off the box here real quick. Then we're going to rip it open and we're going to test it out. So instead of playing the slide trombone, I'm going to use the cheaters again. Okay, here we go. And it says right here, it's lightweight and portable, it's whisper silent, has variable mist settings, provides instant humidity. Huh. And then in French it says, Léger et portable, hypersilent so slux, regla bleu very balaule, humidity for instant Jean-Luc Picard. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, that might have been a Spanish and French, I'm not really sure. And look how tiny this little humidifier is. It's ultra portable and you just need a bottle of water. Just screw it on there. You don't have to worry about carrying a big old tank around or something or using a bunch of filters. So, and then right back here, you'll see that it actually comes with its own little carrying case. And then there's the uh, power pack and plug right there. So it looks pretty simple. So let's rip this sucker open and test it out. It says I seen on TV, it must be good. <laughs> So let's hurry to your friends and do a quick unboxing before they come and try to take it away from us. Oh, this one pops right open. <laughs> Didn't uh, have to get the jaws of life to cut this one out. So, oh, just kind of like a little trifold here. Not much to that. The Bell House Sonic Breathe instruction booklet here. Got the actual device itself. So right here we see we got the little humidifier and then we got the power pack. And then like I also mentioned earlier, it's also got like a little carrying case that comes with it. So that kind of makes it all handy. So you can put it all in this little bag here and take it with you wherever you want to go. So if you're somebody that's traveling, this might be a cool item. But before we make any quick judgments, we're going to see how well this thing humidifies or see how much humidity it puts out. Folks, I wanted to show you this here real quick, the pieces of this thing. Like I said, we have a little power pack here and I'll put that to the side for right now. And then we also see that this has like a little, it has a little lid here and you can see down in this reservoir. And I'm guessing that's where the water goes whenever you put the bottle on top of here. It's got the little nozzle here for your water bottle so that you can screw that on there. And it looks like a pretty easy setup here. So I don't think there's gonna be much to this review as far as showing you how this works, but we're gonna test it out and see how much humidity this puts out. Like I said, I paid $29.99 for this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I think that's a pretty good price. And I'm gonna have a link down in the description here so that you can order one of these yourself if you'd like one of these. Something I did wanna mention when I first opened this, I noticed that it had these two little things right here that slide out, and I wasn't sure what those were. I've never seen something like that on the bottom of an item before. And I looked in the instructions here, and it says that they are fold-out feet for this thing. So I'm guessing that's just for extra balance. So we've got these little fold-out feet here to help balance and steady this thing. And before we get started here, I wanted to show you, I've got this Bell House Sonic Breathe plugged in here and it was pretty easy to just plug in. <laughs> so that was pretty simple. So I've got it plugged in here and then we've got the little switch here that turns it on and off. I'm gonna wait till I get a bottle of water on here and we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna see how much humidity it makes. We've got it plugged in here and I've got the feet kicked out like it says in the instructions and I guess that's for stability like I said. And we've got this all set up and ready to go. And here's the adjustment dial for how much mist you want to come out. And I'm using a great value water, and this is uh, purified drinking water from Walmart, our favorite place to be on a busy Saturday, right? 
All right, so it says that we're supposed to put this nozzle into the bottle and then we're supposed to quickly put it inside this slot right here. And it says to make sure the vent's open here. Well, I don't see any way to shut that off, so I'm guessing that means it's already open. So without further delay, we'll stick that on there. And it's it says don't not to get it too tight, but it's actually very loose when it goes on there, so not sure what that means, but here we go. It looks like the water's just racing in there. And pouring out. All right, so the water filled up and I see a little bit of water came out the bottom here. You probably can't see it, but some of the water has come out the bottom. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on anyway. Uh -huh, okay, now we're getting a lot of mist out of this. So you can see there, it's producing a lot of mist now. And I'm not sure why uh, all the water came out of the bottle at first and some came out of the bottom. I'm not sure what that's all about. But it has stopped doing that and, oh, nope, it's starting to drain again. <laughs> that's not good, I don't think. Yeah, it's coming out the bottom. Yeah, water is leaking all over the place. Yeah, it's not good. So I've researched this a little bit and I'm kind of thinking maybe it's the size of the water bottle. Uh, it says to use a 17 ounce water bottle and this is a 16.9. So I don't know if that has something to do with it or not. Um, but I don't know, I really don't know. So I'm gonna try something else. Uh, I'm gonna get a Mountain Dew bottle and I'm gonna rinse it out and just put water in it. We'll see if a Mountain Dew bottle will work with this thing. Because right now water has just leaked all over this, this time. Table. I've got a Mountain Dew bottle, it's Diet Mountain Dew to be exact, and it's actually full of water. This just has water in it, and I've rinsed it out real good, so there's nothing but water, there's nothing sticky in here. It's been rinsed out about 100 times now, so we're gonna try that out. Okay, so I've got my table dried off. I've got the Mountain Dew bottle, see if it even fits on there, and it's, and it does look like it's gonna fit on there. It's a little bit snug, but it does seem to be fitting on there. It is, it's, yeah, it's pretty snug. Got it on there, we'll try that out now. All right, right off the bat, I see that no water is leaking out of there, and that is snug. And we'll turn it on, see if it works. As soon as I turned it on, it started spurting out a lot of steam here. And you can see it is producing tons of steam at this point. All right. So my consensus is, is you can't use little cheap water bottles in this, the 16.9 ounces. So that nozzle gripped that Sonic Breathe a little bit tighter and it seemed to work a lot better like that. And I'm still watching it right now and it seems to be working great. So as far as I'm concerned, the Sonic Breathe is maybe something that you could have around if you're gonna be watching it but the way it leaked water out with those Walmart bottles, I'm a little skeptical on it. Um, I've seen some tests on this before and it seems to work great for other people, so I think maybe I just picked the wrong water bottles. So would I trust this at my desk next to my computer right now? No, but I think if I had it going for a couple of days, I might put a towel underneath of it and trust it like that and just kind of go from there. So folks, I hope you enjoyed my review and test of the Bell House Sonic Breathe. It says asking on TV, it must be good. <laughs> and folks, one last thing before you go. If you've enjoyed the video today, please remember to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Also hit the bell. The bell will alert you anytime I release a new video. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today and God bless you. Like, share, and subscribe. Nevermore.